see this many miles and months later, a level of confidence in places that we just didn't see a few years ago, and a better direction in places that weren't quite sure which way to go. And even to have two individuals here who do an incredible job in their communities representing Western Mass and Eastern Mass coming together today around a program that unites us, better prepares us, and even as the capital city, as great as Boston is, finding more to do. We are excited to be here with the Baker Polito administration as uh, they clearly recognize the importance of municipalities and cities today. And so Boston, uh, as part of our compact, we're going to uh, share some around uh, climate change and climate adapt uh, adaptivity. We also are going to share uh, some best practices on complete streets. Um, our streets today are being sh uh, shared by multiple modalities, and we need to make sure that there's space for the pedestrian and space for the cyclists and space for the cars. I'd like to thank the governor and lieutenant governor for putting this project in place. It's certainly wonderful for us as a community to be able to engage with the state and partner on the best practices that we've selected. Those are a documentation of our best practices with regard to financial management. The second thing we're using compact money for is to work on e economic development. Uh, we're looking forward to doing some great things and we're gonna use the compact money under the IT umbrella to explore expanding opportunities for broadband on our business corridor. This program has made it possible for the Commonwealth to get to know a lot more than we would have known otherwise about what goes on across these 351 cities and towns. And that knowledge has made it possible for us to work with our colleagues in the legislature and with our colleagues in local government on initiatives and opportunities we might not have even considered pursuing before that. It's been a terrific opportunity for everybody to get better at what they do. Um, and it's been a real treat uh, for me um, as the lieutenant governor's co-pilot in this, to watch her grab this thing and run with it uh, and really deliver. The reason why we're doing all this, all this hard work, all this convening and collaborating, is because it matters. It matters to the quality of life for the people who live in this commonwealth and call her home. It matters not by what actually we do in this building, but by how people feel in their respective hometown or home city. Do they feel like they have a, a safe town? Do they feel like their city is offering great education to their kids? Do they feel safe and healthy and whole in their community? And I often think about what's next, and it's the next generation. Our sons and daughters, that they can find everything that they're looking for in this commonwealth because it's safe, the schools are good, it's affordable and accessible to all. And that they don't have to go out of the borders of our state to find that because it's all here in this great commonwealth of Massachusetts.